Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2008 Lexus LS460. And today's review is taking place at DMG Motors Skoda and Sayad, situated in Clare, just outside Donegal Town. For all contact information in regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. We'll just start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data, and take a look around the exterior. So, let's get started. Now the LS460 does come with keyless ignition and the uh, entry is standard. So I just unlocked the car using the uh, standard key fob, but you can also use the button on the door here. Press it once to lock the vehicle. The reverse power fold. And then just grab the handle to unlock the car. It's got a very nice beige and uh, wood leather interior. I'll actually caption in the name of the uh, specific color on the leather. You've got your four one-touch automatic windows which are lock and unlock, as well as three person memory settings for the driver's seat, and I'll just demonstrate this button in a moment. Storage shelf here just folds out a little bit. And it's also got full electric seats with 12 uh, power adjustments in total. So as I was saying, it's got a completely keyless uh, ignition. I'll just leave the keys up on top of the dash here. Now when you push the button, the steering rack uh, folds down itself. That's also completely electronic. There's just a little dial here, and you can adjust using that. Push the button again to turn on the electronics. Now this particular LS has 147,168 kilometers on the clock so far. Decent mileage for the given the age of the car, 2008. So you just apply the uh, foot brake, the light turns green, and push the button to start. So regarding this uh, little button here, that actually just simply adjusts the uh, seat belt, as you can see. You can lower it up and down. And that's just one of many, many features the uh, LS460 has. It's got a beautiful leather wrap uh, multifunction steering wheel, half wooden as well. A hydraulic rack and pinion power assisted steering, excellent feedback, very light and smooth. Steering wheel is also heated using this control here. You can also activate and deactivate the parking sensors using this. Also, the uh, power folding mirrors, you can have them in automatic mode, or if you pull them all the way over to the left, they power fold themselves. And then off the right there, you got your um, electrical adjustments for the mirror itself. And this car also has an AFS system, which stands for Adaptive Front Lighting. And by pressing this button here, it just shows up in the top left, you can activate and deactivate the system itself. This car also comes with the electronic parking brake, just located down here. But you can also put it on automatic mode, so when you do turn off the car and put it into park, it will just automatically engage itself. So coming over here to the multimedia, as you can see, it has a very large touch screen. And of course it's got satellite navigation, all your basic controls here, you can zoom in and out of the map for example. Very good quality. And you've got all your uh, controls here, so for example you can set your destination if I just click this. You've got points of interest, memory, go into the map itself, uh, previous destinations or enter an address. Then you've got the car's main menu here. Now this here menu is specifically, I believe, for the satellite navigation. So for example, you can adjust the volume of the sat-nav woman. Uh, you can get traffic reports, memory. You can set up the sat-nav to your own custom liking. And you can also adjust the climb control from here as well. Of course, you've got the manual controls down there. Next one is the audio. Just turn it on. Now this car has, uh, I believe it's called the Mark Evanson Reference Surround Sound System. It's actually very good. If I just put on a radio here. Very, very good surround sound system. Crystal, crystal clear uh, audio. And of course you got the controls and steering wheel here as well. So for example, you use the arrows to navigate your radio stations if you like. And if you press mode, you can choose to FM1, FM2. Got FM3. Not very really sure what um, LW and NW stand for specifically.
and then if I go into the display settings you can just adjust the uh, contrast and the brightness or you can turn off the screen as well information you can go to maintenance uh, you can connect your phone to the Bluetooth system car even has a built-in camera or sorry a calendar and you can go to the park assist as well activate and deactivate it as you like language and your basic screen settings so all in all it's quite an easy system to use which I'll to mention underneath the uh, armrest here you got um, these CDs here for the uh, satellite navigation just uh, you know set them up for Europe specifically this also pulls up a little bit you got a big deep storage area I don't know how well you can see it but off the right you got an auxiliary input and off the left you got a 12 volt power outlet other toys the ns460 comes with you've got a uh, heated seats so for example this is the passenger side one a little green led comes on when it's activated and then just put the button back in the center to turn it off you also got this button here for the rear sun blind and the button to the right of it there is for heating the rear seats and then you got these controls here for example you can put the car in sport mode if i click up Put in the center just to keep it in normal mode and to the bottom for comfort mode. Now the button below this is marked height high. Uh, this is actually a clever system. When the car is empty, uh, you know, you can see it's uh, right height. If you activate this system here, and it also is displayed up on the screen, if you have the car full, let's say there's five people in the car, with the system activated, the car will actually maintain the uh, right height that it would if the car was empty. So, you know, that's kind of handy to have as well. And then you got this control here. Now you can uh, select it. It's kind of like I suppose contrast with the sport mode. You can set the car up for you know power. So for example, if you're going on a track day, or you can set it up for snow. So for example, winter weather. You know it's just the way the traction and the power is fed to the rear wheels. And then below that, you have the traction control system. Also got two integrated cup holders here. So it's a cigarette lighter and ashtray. And this car also comes with the 8-speed automatic transmission. So at the moment we're in park. If I shift it into reverse, backup camera comes on and it's guidance lines. Neutral and drive. And if you push over to right and drive, you can shift manually. There is no paddle shifters in this car. And as I was saying earlier, you got all the air conditioning and climate controls down here. You got your temperature for the passenger side and for the um, driver's side over here as well. Also has a digital clock as well as an auto dimming interior mirror. Nice sunglasses container, nice and padded. And you got your interior lights here. It's also got a lovely uh, suede visor. And illuminated vanity mirrors. Of course the same on the passenger side. It's also got extremely comfortable leather seats, perforated in the center as you would expect. And it's also got two other controls located up here, the same on the driver's side. This one, you know, you can just move it over and back like that there. And you can slide it in and out. So another feature the LS460 comes with is this whole feature. Now it'd actually be easier for me to demonstrate it really uh, than you know, explain it. So in order to use it, you have to have your seatbelt on, which I do. So I'm just going to demonstrate right now. At the moment, the system is off. So if I shift the car into drive and just release the electronic parking brake here, I let off the foot brake and as you can see, the car is moving. And this will freely allow me to shift between neutral and reverse without actually using the foot brake itself. So if I just engage the system, as you can see there, Illuminates up there in green. If I put the car into drive and let off the foot brake, as you can see, the car won't move. The whole feature comes up. So I can actually deactivate that two ways. I can either press the hold button and deactivate it, or if I just press the accelerator, and it leaves itself. And when I stop the car again with the foot brake, it comes up. And as you can see, my foot is off the foot brake. The car is in drive and it's not going anywhere. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. And a little ashtray. 
You got your speakers here and here. This car has also got the all season weather floor mats. Got storage in the back of each front seat, as well as rear ventilation, a cigarette lighter. And as you can no doubt tell, there is tons and tons of legroom here. This is, you know, basically just huge luxury saloon built ready to compete with like a Mercedes S Class, Audi A8, BMW 7 Series, and so on. That's got your rear ventilation control over there. Headroom is excellent as well. You've got little valley mirrors, that's pretty sweet. Also illuminated, and it's got the uh, same kind of suede uh, fabric on it as the sun visors. Even the uh, grab handles have been decorated with a nice little bit of chrome. As well as a little coat hook. And then the headliner itself, beautiful kind of suede material too. Unbelievable car this. There's so much luxury in it. It's extremely comfortable, extremely spacious. You've got a few toys in here. So as you see, you got your standard center armrest. Good big uh, storage area. And as you can see, you can adjust the heating for the uh, rear seats. And also you got a second button here for operating the, um, the uh, sun blind. And you also got a pass through into the boot. All around rear visibility in this car is excellent as well. It's just massively spacious, really. Tons of headroom, tons of legroom. Almost feels like a limousine back here. It's the kind of car you'd see a dictator being driven around in. Maybe. I don't know. So let's just hop back into the front. And also I should mention you got your uh, trip computer and reset uh, located up here as well. So we're going to trip computer A, B and the odometer. So let's turn on the car's power. We'll turn on the headlights, which of course are also automatic. Front and rear fog lamps. The hazards. And put down the front window. And we'll take a look around the exterior. Exterior color is called Noble Spinel Mecca. It's a beautiful kind of dark metallic red. This car has got the bright xenon protector headlamps. And lower fog lights. You can just see the parking sensors there. Also continue off into the side as well. It also comes with 19 inch 5 spoke alloy wheels on Dunlop tires with front and rear ventilated steel disc brakes. It's also got a multi link independent suspension up front and in the rear. It's got lovely chrome door handles as well as chrome at the bottom as well. It's also got two very large dual exhaust outlets. If I just pan the camera up here, you can see the uh, backup camera itself. Now the re release for the boot is located here, but for some reason it doesn't appear to be working at the moment, but that's okay, because there's another way of doing it. This car has a release on the interior. If I just press this button. As you can see, it's got 505 litres of room, massive as you can see. And also I should mention, as you can tell by the back, uh, the rear seats in this car don't fold down. There's a massive boot though. And to close it, just press this.
So there is actually one more feature regarding the boot that I'd like to show you guys. It's actually located in the glove box, which by the way is nicely padded. It's very roomy. This little button here, uh, it's labeled as a trunk opener. Uh, the button is pushed in. I'll just show you what happens. If I press uh, the electronic boot release down here, as you can see, the boot opens itself. Um, this is probably some kind of safety feature, but when I press the button again and the wee dial pops out, as you can see here, it's marked as cancel. So if that boot was closed now and I tried to press the button, it wouldn't release. Now, you probably think that I had that button that popped out earlier when I was trying to open it uh, using the actual boot lid itself. Uh, that's not the case, because uh, as you saw, I did open it easily with the button then. Um, I just think that the electronic uh, button on the boot itself was probably just a little faulty at the moment, because it wouldn't open for me. This particular LS460 is the short wheelbase, and it has an overall length of 198 inches. It has a width of 73.8 inches with a height of 57.7 inches and the overall wheelbase is 116.9 inches. The length of a long wheelbase is 202 inches. Bottom release and also the fuel filter cap release is just located here beside the boot release. So now we get to the heart of the LS460. The engine is a 4.6 litre dual overhead cam 32 valve V8. It produces 381 brake horsepower with an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. It also puts out 364 foot pounds of torque and can do about 25 miles to the gallon. And of course, all that power is fed through the 8 speed uh, automatic gearbox. I like the way uh, Lexus have the whole engine base sealed up like this, gives it a much uh, nicer, cleaner look to it. It also has the hydraulic uh, support bars as well. Turn off the lighting and the hazards. So let's fire up the 460 and see how it sounds. So we'll just finish up the review now. One thing I actually forgot to mention, I, I know it's pretty obvious for a car like this, but it actually does have automatic rain sensing windshield wipers as well. 
So the LS460, well first impressions, this is the first time I've ever sat one of these cars. They're really good looking from the outside. Now in 2009 uh, this was given a facelift to its uh, current version, you know they changed the grill, a uh, bunch of body parts on the outside, they updated the interior, done all the usual stuff. The interior of this particular car though is a lovely place to be. It's got a lovely leather wrap uh, wooden steering wheel which of course is also heated. Very nice uh, feedback from it, it's got all your controls on it. It's got extremely comfortable seats, it's got lovely uh, wooden trim. Very nice uh, touch screen unit, easy to use. And of course as I was showing you earlier there is miles of room in the back of this car. It's got a massive boot and it comes with quite a lot of equipment on it as standard. Of course as I was saying this car was kind of built you know, to compete with cars such as Mercedes S-Class and cars of that uh, in that kind of luxury bracket. Powered off, and as you can see, the steering wheel will go back into its preset setting. It's a beautiful car, so this has got one hell of an engine as well. It sounds fantastic. I also really love the uh, metallic red that this car's been finished in as well. Looks very, very nice. And with just enough chrome as well to help the exterior kind of pop a bit more, just gives it a nice. Uh, presence looks really good has a very nice 19 inch alloy wheels as well well everyone i hope you enjoyed this film that tour of the 2008 lexus ls460 please remember to rate comment and subscribe and please stay tuned we'll be playing more videos to come thanks for watching everyone